another Shea video, first one of 2018. So I hope you all had a happy new year. Happy new year to everybody. And I hope this year goes really great for you, both uh, financially, health-wise, and entertainment. Can't ask for much more. Anyhow, I'm going to be doing a shave today. And, uh, you know, I'm always trying something out or doing something. And actually, I think I'm just going to have a relaxing shave today. And I'm going to use an old favorite of mine, uh, H3 Gillette. That's my birth year, 1962. I'm going to be using this today. Someone had asked... Uh, when the last time I used a, had a shave with my birth year razor, and ah, it's been a while. And I've got quite a few of the old Gillettes. You know, I've got them, uh, I got the red one. In fact, I should do a, I should do a video on all the different colored containers that these vintage Gillettes came in. Because, uh, sometimes you get a Gillette razor and it's not matched for the, uh, color container that it's supposed to have been in. You know, over the years, maybe somebody... Uh, lost one or bought a loose container or a loose uh, box and uh, it ended up in that but it's nice to have the matching pair. So anyway I'm going to use uh, an H3 today with a real mellow razor blade Persona Blue. And if you notice I've got a little bit of a red eye right there. In fact I got to go to the doctors today to have it looked at. <clears throat> they were closed Monday of course. It was like oh real red. I think it's because I had that cold. And uh, Tuesday, everybody, yesterday, everybody was booked. Couldn't get in. So today I go at 4 o'clock, and it's almost well now. But, you know, might as well go, you know, they'll have some better drops than my stupid uh, Visine. But uh, that stuff sure did help. All right. So I'm going to use that razor today. I'm going to, you can tell I got a little bit of grizzle going. So I'm going to use some uh, Prorosso Pre-Shave. This menthol. Oh, it's going to help open up my sinuses really, really well. Something I've never tried before. So there is something new. Sterling Lemon Chill. And I tried the Orange Chill the other week. And I'm told that this one is a lot stronger scent than the Orange. So I will be trying that out. And an unconventional finish to this. Well, it's not really an unconventional finish. Doggone it. Where'd I put it? Hold on, I was second. originally going to go with a fine platinum, but I decided against that. And I'm going to go with a Midnight and Two Citrus Island because it's a bong. And uh, I haven't used it in a while. So uh, Midnight and Two. So there we have it. And last but not least, an Omega Bore Brush. So let me get my face wet and get this started. I had everything laid out. And then <laughs> you know how it goes. Nothing goes according to plan. That's why these videos are kind of tough if you're not doing cuts and edits. You're just trying to start to finish 15 minutes without making a goof. It uh, can be pretty tough. And I'm sure a lot of you do edits. And, you know, I've done a few where I've really goofed. I forgot to press play or record. I've done the whole shave with the camera not on. So I had to wait two more days. So that's probably the worst goof I've ever done. Oh, whew. man, Parasso pre-shave definitely opens up the sinuses. All right, and I'm dropping everything. So, Sterling's Lemon Chill. And I'm using a boar brush. Someone asked what my favorite brushes were, and the boar really uh, whip up the uh, lather a little better than most others because they're a little stiffer, in my opinion. And that last shave, someone had commented, hey, the lather, the lather looked kind of thin. Or maybe that was the PAA. That might have been the PAA, because the sterling really worked great. And PAA worked great too, but a lot of people prefer the thicker lather and they want me to sit here and do this. So you can see it's spilling out for like 20 minutes. And I just needed to do the job. Man, there's a lot of whiskers there. Hey, I heard from uh, Joe from Queens. He's doing good. Briarwood 138. Been a while since he'd done a video. Ah. Metering off my beard. Been a while since he'd done a video, and he, he said he didn't realize that. So uh, he said he'll do another one real soon. So I'm glad Joe's doing good. We just hadn't heard from him for a while. Oh, look at that lather. 
that lather for me is perfect. Oh, come on. All right. Now this setting that I'm using on mine is setting number three. You guys may uh, uh, prefer different settings, but three works really well for me. And it takes that beard right off. And that blade is super mellow. Wow, that lemon chill is definitely making my eyes water. Oh man. Definitely making them water. So they got the lemon chill, the orange chill, and I think I've got a cherry. There's a, uh, Sterling has a lot of good, good products. What's your favorite? Wow, it's even tingling. Yeah, that is very mentholy. And it does smell like lemons. These houses, my house was built in 1962. These used to be uh, farm fields and used to be orange and lemon groves, I guess. So I'm told. And uh, I've got a couple of orange trees in my backyard, but my folks' house, which is about half a mile from here where I grew up, they had lemon trees. So uh, I'm used to the citrus products. It's like Disneyland. Disneyland used to be all orange groves before Walt bought them in 1950s. All right. Wow, that is definitely strong, strong shave soap. Let's dry them a little bit here. Let me wet that a bit more. There we go. Started catching up on some of those Arnold uh, action movies. You know, I did, I've been watching Lethal Weapon and uh, Die Hard, but I started watching, uh, well, I watched Terminator 2 and Terminator Genesis. Uh, man, haven't seen a lot of those in a while. And on Blu-ray, really good quality. Man, it, it did knock that beard down. It did knock that beard down. One thing about these Gillettes, all the razors pretty much had a date code. So you can find even the modern razors in the 90s, 80s, the Atras, they all have a date code. So you can find your birth year pretty good. Might not be a razor that you prefer. Did you hear that? It almost took it completely down. I had a fun morning. I got like four smoke alarms in the house. One of them was beeping. And my dog does not like... Hear that? Almost got it all. My dog does not like that beeping. It took me a while to figure out which stupid smoke alarm it was. And it's one of those 10 year guaranteed. It's been up for two years. Bull crap. Went to Home Depot and went over to Lowe's. Had to get another one. Two-year warranty for 10-year warranty, my ass. Although it could have been dust. 
or a bug or a spider or a moth or something got in there. And, but, oh, annoying. You ever have that? Beep. Which one is it? Which one is it? Son of a gun. But a fun morning, nevertheless. A bad day at home is better than a fun day at work, right? First three pass in a while. All right. Maybe I should let my beard grow out more. Then I get a better shave, right? Oh, man, that stuff is uh, eye-watering. That is equal to that Arctique barrister and man to me. Well, it's good. Now I'll go into the doctors and my eyes will be all watering and they'll, they'll say, oh, you weren't wasting my time. <laughs> Ice cold. Ice cold. In the ears? Nope, behind the ears? That's always embarrassing. Huh. I do not see my Humphreys. So, I'm not going to search for it. Nope, it's not here in front of me. I'm gonna go straight to the midnight and two. Let's shake it. There's no alcohol in this, so I know there's gonna be no burn today. Oh, Citrus Island. Big difference, right? Big difference. Slopped a lot on there. <laughs> now one cut. All right, the H3 Gillette Slim Adjustable. Man, uh, cannot go wrong. I don't know why I don't use that more often, and I probably should. All right, well, it's the middle of the week. I get bowling tonight, too. Weiss. <laughs> Uh, lucky me, you know, I gave my wife that bad cold, so now she's sick. My daughter had it first, and we all got it, and my son's got it, and my wife's got it now. So, uh, And I heard a lot of people at work, and I haven't been there in two weeks, so I uh, can't blame me for that. All right, guys, have a great night, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you very much for your subscriptions, and thank you very much for watching. Almost at 4,000. I think I'm 80 away. So uh, thank you again very much, and we'll see you next time.